One of the biggest products for me to review for 2018 was the Airsoft Innovations 40 mic. Widely regarded as the most controversial product released of the year. And I mean, we even gave it an award during the Unpopular Awards. But it's 2019. So 40 mic, it's time to move over. Your little bro is here. This is the Master Mic. And boy, does he have some expectations to live up to. If you're unfamiliar with the 40 mic, it is a 40 mil shell firing 150 BBs at 240 F in a third of a second. It's widely banned across UK sites and was a crazy talking back point for weeks, even months, as players debated its use case. This was through 2018 and it was banned for kind of two main reasons. Firstly, the marketing, where the main phrase that came to mind was always the pain train. That put a lot of fear into players. To add to that, we had some players and YouTubers firing them very close up on individual players rather than using it at the recommended minimum gauge distance of 30 meters and hitting a group. So we had the fear factor and then we had the safety. Sites were very concerned with the amount of time the 40 might took to spread the BBs in case a player was to walk across or in front of the, of the launcher within a few meters. Their concern was not so much about the skin, although it would be very uncomfortable. It was more about if it could potentially knock eye protection off or teeth protection off within such a mass of BBs. Now I will say, I've used this for the last year. The sites in the southeast where I play haven't banned it. There's been no issues, but I understand the concern. And so Airsoft Innovations took this feedback and released the little brother, the master mic. Let's compare the two. With the 40 mic here, we have 150 BBs versus the master mic at 100. We have 240 FPS, where the master mic has 220 FPS. And the spread, both of them have a 10 foot or three meter spread. For the master mic, it's 20 foot or seven meters versus 100 foot, which is 30 meters. So that's insane differences. Now the range here, we have a 100 foot, which is around about 30 meters, versus 60 foot, which is 20 meters. So as you can see, we've got slightly less BBs, slightly less FPS. The spread is greater very quickly. The only real major downside of the master mic here would be the range is slightly less. But if you arc them up, Realistically, you do have a little bit more range. Now, as I said, with the master mic, no longer do we have this one line of BB spreading out and expanding over time. Because as the BBs leave the master mic here, it spreads instantly. And as you'll see in this demonstration, the amount of spread there as soon as it leaves the barrel. But before I get to show you the devastation of the master mic, let me first of all show you what's in the box. Inside every master mic box, you will have a patch. This is the 40 mil pain train as of innovations patch. I do believe they are going to update this for the master mic as it was the same with the 40 mic. You have some grenade oil. You have a rubber safety cap for the master mic. And of course you get the master mic itself. Now using a master mic is very simple. All we need to do, if I move this box out of the way, make sure your safety cap is on at the bottom. These grenades, both the master mic and the 40 mic, are drop safe, which means they've been dropped at six foot and do not go off. But this safety cap makes sure you cannot accidentally misfire them. So we put the cap on, we would load 100 BBs into the top here. And when you reach capacity, you'll have some BBs at the end here. Put your finger over, Hold it over, flip it, just make a second, flip back over. You may then need to add some more until you reach capacity again and then pour out the remaining 10 or so BBs. The only other thing to do is to gas it up. For that, I will always advise putting iPro on just in case. And we gas this up with Nuprol 2.0. 
Simple. In terms of using the master mic, you'd have your launcher. I've recently just purchased this Sima 052 launcher. It was about 35 pounds. So a fantastic purchase if you are looking to go into grenades here. Put in your master mic, take off the safety cap, and you are ready to go. And I really advise keeping that safety cap on until you are ready to use the use the shell. Now that I've shown you how to load up and use the master mic, let's actually take it out on the field. Release the duck battle cry. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> now that got you. Well, what do you think after seeing the master mic? Leave a comment in the section below. Personally, I'm really impressed with the amount of spread and overall coverage that a burst of the master mic offers. And it still does retain a good range and effectiveness that far surpasses other shell manufacturers. The noise, the duck cry, is still massively intimidating on the field. And I will say, looking down at an incoming shot is absolutely terrifying still. But you do know with the master mic, you're not going to be hit excessively. You saw in that example, at 9 to 10 meters, I'm only being hit by a small amount of BBs. And its impact was sufficient enough to know you're hit, but it's not enough to cause any welts. Whereas with the 40 mic, at a 10 meter range, you know, it's barely expanding past two people standing next to each other. So you're going to get hit a lot more. And again, that was one of the concerns. Using the master mic in game, I would say I don't see any reason why a site would dismiss the master mic versus any of the other shells available. And I'll be honest, so far the feedback I've seen has been positive. That said, if your site doesn't allow shells to be used on site full stop, then this isn't really going to change the outcome. This leaves the question, does the master mic make the 40 mic completely redundant? Now I'd say no, they both really have their niche. The master mic has a much wider scope when you start considering range and arcing it down to take out like towers or using it in open spaces where you can really take out a group of players. Whereas the master mic for me is a great corridor clearer, or it's a good way to take out a group of players that may be taking cover in a bunker, somewhat of a shorter distance. Both of them, for sure, will keep your head down. <laughs> it's absolutely terrifying when you know one's on the field, but it's more about what range you're going to require at the time. That said, I do see the master mic, at least in the UK, being accepted a lot more willingly than what the 40 mic was. Although I will say, um, nowadays, you know, coming a year later, more sites are allowing the 40 mic. Looking at those first two issues that we were talking about at the start was to why the 40 mic was banned, Airsoft Innovations have greatly improved their awareness and publicity of the master mic. They still do quirky promotions like they did with the master mic, but it's definitely a less more emphasis on the pain train. In terms of the secondary issue with the concern to safety at a short distance in an event of an accident, knocking off the glasses is going to be completely irrelevant with a grenade like this. Since the spread is so quickly, it's got less BBs and less power, you're not going to get a situation that wouldn't still happen with any other shell or BB gun. All in all, I am absolutely loving the master mic. I think Airsoft Innovations have listened to the feedback and created a product that we wanted. It's almost like this should have came out the year before and then the 40 mic comes out this year and kind of warming us up into it. But I think the master mic answers a great need and with a launcher like this for £35, you really can't go wrong with taking one on the field. If you haven't watched the 40 mic review and you still are interested or would like to read it, check it out up here. 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel down here and let YouTube pick one of the other videos that we have on the channel up here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.